Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with a quick <clears throat> little craft with me. Um, we're going to be making these tiny books. <clears throat> I saw this over uh, done by Heather over at Ruby and Pearl and I am just using some scraps. We're going to make two booklets um, but the, this is the prototype and the magical thing about this process is you just use two pieces of paper. In this case I'm using coffee dyed paper. <clears throat> you could use a digital but you would want to make sure that you print it on both sides so that you had some pages that had a solid color uh, for writing on so I might try that in the future but today I'm just gonna stick with the coffee dyed paper so I forgot to grab my stuff here let me just grab my glues here and um, we'll get going here I've got my basket of textiles so that we can do some uh, some decorating of the cover and uh, so yeah <clears throat> again I picked up a, picked a couple of just scraps from my scrap bin and I thought this would be really beautiful in the uh, for the for the love of blue journal that I'm making for my sister I did not cut this these down yet because I want to show you how we're going to do that but we're going to start with folding the papers so I will walk you through the first journal and then the second one I might speed up parts of it we'll see how it goes I'm going to move this a little bit closer so you guys can see me better so what you're going to do is you're going to do the same process for both papers and so you're going to first start with folding your paper holding it uh, um, uh, landscape <laughs> this is portrait this is landscape you're going to fold your paper in half you do want to keep your edges as even as possible because that will affect how the book turns out um, overall so i'm going to grab my bone folder here and then we're just going to give that a good crease so you're going to fold it first um, the landscape way then you're going to turn it and you're going to do the same and you're going to fold it uh, in half uh, portrait wise so I'm turning this just a little bit so that I can see my edge so I'm just making sure that my edge here is as even as possible in my prototype my edges were still uneven but you know that's just the nature of folding paper I think so I'm not going to worry too much about it so once you have your your folds both directions then you are going to uh, fold it in half and you want the opening to be at the bottom and then you're going to fold this flap up meeting that uh, meeting the fold so you've got your fold up here so you're going to go ahead and um, bring that up and again line it up as best you possibly can give that a good crease and again, I did watch this over on Ruby and Pearl, so um, check Heather out because that's where I saw this. We're going to turn this over and we're going to do the same with this side, folding it up to the middle, to that, uh, that fold, <clears throat> like so. And again, I don't worry about perfection, so just do the very best that you can. So then, once we have that, I'm going to grab my ink. Oh, I forgot to grab my cart. Hold on, guys. I always forget to grab it when I sit down. <laughs> and it has all the important things in it. So, like my ink. So I'm going to grab my ink because this is going to help us with the next step. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab... Um, I believe it was here. You're going to grab this. Oh, I hope I remember. Yes, <laughs> you're going to grab it so the flaps are out here. And I am going to ink this. So let me just really quickly get a little bit of ink on here. Just so that we can see that line because we're going to be cutting on that line. So well, that didn't show up at all. Goodness gracious. Let me try again. I just ink this pad too it should be nice and juicy okay so now we're going to go ahead and open that up and we're only going to cut this piece so again your fold is down here so this is the fold <clears throat> and we're going to cut just to this next line grab my scissors I'm just going to cut that Now 
There we go. So what this should look like is this. Um, hang on. <laughs> like this. That's how you know it's right, is you've got this kind of uh, diamond shape in the center. So now you're just going to go ahead and close that, put it back into itself, and then you're just going to fold this like so. I'm going to go ahead and give that a good crease. And as you can see already, the edges are not perfectly even. I don't worry about that. So there's a couple of options at this point. Um, you can go ahead and glue these openings closed, which I'm going to do. I just want it to be a writing book. But if you didn't want to, you could cut a thumb notch. You could make that a pocket. Um, you could make this a side tuck, anything that you want. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to, whoops, that just came right off. I'm going to go ahead and glue these shut. So let me do that really quickly. You don't have to go deep in there. We just want to make sure that it's closed. I'm going to grab a paper towel here. <clears throat> I don't get a bunch of glue everywhere. So that's that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this one completely. So I can just run my bead of glue down the side here. And from this inside edge over, we're going to go ahead and grab this edge too, since we're already here. I did find when I did my prototype, I had to go back because I missed parts that still needed that glue, but it's all right. So that's closed and that is closed. And um, we want to close this one here at the bottom. Like so, and let's close this top, and again, you could leave these open, totally up to you. I just don't want to do that. I just want these to be a simple a little writing notebook, like something somebody could stick in their purse, you know, for the grocery list or to-do list or whatever. So we're going to flip through. I don't think I got them all, but I'm just going to flip through, making sure that they're closed on the top. They look to be all closed on the top, so let's go ahead and do the bottom. So we're going to run a bead of glue here again, like so, and then all across the bottom. Hope you guys can see this okay. My paper towel, just smooth that out. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and close this, oh that one's get a little more glue in there. That didn't really work all that great. I'm not very patient. Like so. And let's see what I've got here. So that is our little booklet. Boy, we're really uneven here. What the heck happened there? Let's just trim that off. That's bothering me. There we go. Oh my goodness, that whole thing is crooked. I wonder why that is. Very strange. It's okay though. So everything seems to be closed up nicely. So then we're going to go ahead and do one more. I will speed through this because we're we want to. We're going to actually be gluing um, this one to this one, and then we'll be gluing this into our cover, uh, front and back. So we're going to go ahead and fold this again, uh, folding it first um, the long way, and then we're going to open it up and fold it the other way. This is just my coffee dyed paper from my stash. I used almost all of it, so I need to do another batch of 20 pound paper. I have plenty of the 65 pound. And then we're going to, so then again, your fold, your opening is gonna be at the bottom and you're gonna fold this up. Again, meeting that top edge as best you can. Let go of perfection if you can. And then we're going to turn it over and do the same. And again, just do your best. Do your best. Okay, whoops. <clears throat> there we go. So now we're going to hold it like this so the flaps are out. 
we're going to go ahead and ink this edge again like I did on the previous one just so that I can see that line for cutting. Boy, my ink thing is not holding any ink here. It's so strange. You can go back and ink all of these edges at a later time if you like that, but I'm just going to I'm just basically doing this for the construction construction purposes here. So, I'm going to go ahead and just cut that all the way to that fold line uh, right here so that's where the next fold is and so now we're going to go ahead and like this and I, I like to just check my work by going um, let's see if I can figure out how to do it <laughs> um, we want it to be the diamond <laughs> the diamond like this goodness gracious we're going against the fold but you get what I'm saying. So you've got that opening of the two panels in the center. It's basically what you're looking for. So now we're gonna go ahead and fold this back up like so and oh my goodness gracious Karen Renee. <laughs> not feeling great so I do need to sit down and do a video because I'm not I can't lay down 24 7 I've been sleeping pretty much around the clock the last few days so that is that so we've got our little booklet and I'm going to turn it this way so that I can see that top so we're going to go ahead and do the same we're going to glue all these bits shut again you don't have to glue those you could you could actually glue this together get it in your cover and then decide what you want to do this is not a decision you have to make right now. I don't mind those uneven edges. I think it will be very interesting, especially once they're inked. So, but that's, uh-oh, that's wrong. What did I do? This is not right. Maybe it is. Nope, it's not right. What did I do? I've already lost my mind. Hmm. Very strange. This should be open. What did I do? Did I do that wrong? Oh well, we're just going to make it work. <clears throat> we're going to make it work. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this open here because I did something wrong. I'm not sure what I did. So let's just open that baby up because we can glue whatever we need to glue, so that's better. Not sure what I did with that fold, but it was not correct. So now that's only a single page though. These need to be glued together because they should be two pieces of paper uh, together. So we're gonna go ahead and just glue this together. So I'm gonna glue all three sides. Not sure what I did there. I lost my brain. I'm sure you guys will tell me. <laughs> oh boy, we're all loose and goose goosey here. I did something way wrong there. Okay, well, shoot. Hmm. Okay, well, we have to figure this out because this is not going to work because we now have too few pages. I'm gonna grab one more piece of paper and try that one more time, guys, just a moment. Hopefully I have one that's kind of in those tones. I think I do. Um, let's go ahead and use this blue one. Let's try that again. So we're gonna go fold up lengthwise. Like so, and then we're gonna take it and fold it the other way. I love the really dark edges on this from the coffee dyeing. So beautiful. And then that way. <clears throat> okay, so again, then you're gonna fold this. Your open, excuse me, your opening is down here. I'm gonna fold that up to the top. And we're gonna turn it over and do the same. I will do my creasing here in just a second. I need to do this without interruption in my own brain. <clears throat> okay, so 
So there we've got that. So maybe I had this wrong. Yeah, you hold it here because you don't want to cut these. We just want to cut the center section. So it might have just been that I turned something wrong and I do not do uh, backwards and stuff like that very well. So let's try this again. So that is our cut. So now this is what we want. Nope, this is what we want. That's what we want. <laughs> That's what we want. So this is what you're looking for. This is where I went wrong before. So you want that diamond showing on the top and you've got you've got your two folded connected pieces. These are not cut along this edge. So then you're going to squish that together and then you're just going to close your book up like that. I think that is going to be better. Yes. So forgive me for that. I got I have a medicine brain. <clears throat> I'm asthmatic, so when I get sick, it takes me a, quite a while to get to recover because it almost will always go to my lungs. So I have a nebulizer now, so that really helps me out. It helps me to get ahead of it before, before it swallows me up, which is a good thing. So I'm just going to continue gluing, and I will just be back with you in a moment. Just kind of working my way through all the openings. This one was not very straight at all, but I don't mind that. I don't, as I say all the time, I do not look for perfection in my work. I just don't. It's not worth it. It is not worth the stress and the waste of the materials. So I will use this for something else, not, not to be wasted at all, but uh, I only did one prototype with this. I mean, I did this. This was my first one I did and I made a bunch of notes on it. This is just a uh, copy paper. And I just made a bunch of notes so that I have this to, to go back to uh, later. So it looks like we are all closed up. So I'm just looking, I'm looking at the bottom. Oh, we got one more. Missed one. Come and clear over here because I missed a spot. <clears throat> so the way that you can check is just flip it on both sides and see if you've got openings. It doesn't look like we've got openings. So that is good as gold. So we're just gonna um, crease that up really well. Um, it's a little bit stiff. I'm just gonna use my bone folder to crease that up really well. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue these two together. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna glue this front to this back. That front is just messed up though, or that back piece. I don't know why that got so crooked. Um, I'm gonna try to pick the straighter one. So I think I'm gonna use this, this one and this one. So I'm just gonna glue those together. And you do wanna make sure that this is really well glued because it is holding a lot of papers together. So I'm gonna be um, really generous with the glue. Obviously you want to make sure everything's facing the right way. So I'm just going to press that. Give that a good squish. Turn that over, give that a good press. Make sure that glue is all spread out. So there we go. So that is our little, I think that was what I was supposed to do. <laughs> it's been a couple of days since I did this, so, but it doesn't really matter. In the end, basically what you end up with, I think is 12 pages. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So you've got 12 writing spots. 
basically. But that is just really cro crooked. We'll turn that that way. <laughs> okay, so now let's work on a cover for this one. So I just picked this piece of scrap. So basically what you want to do is um, put your book on your paper. And I like to leave um, a little bit of a border all around. So I'm just setting my my book right here and I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to make a line here because that's where my first spine line is and then I'm going to come over here just to have a guide and I'm going to come out about an eighth of an inch so I'm going to make another line because that's where we're going to score our cover and then we can go ahead and that's that and so now we can come over here and I'm going to go out a little bit here as I think I did that right yeah I left a little bit foggy brain just going to leave a little bit here too so that's just going to give me my cutting lines and my scoring lines and I have discovered that I love using my um, cutter for scoring so I'm going to cut that edge off I know that that's correct there and then oh we forgot to do the height Let's do that really quick, or rather I forgot to do the height. So again, I'm just using scraps. It doesn't have to be anything um, special. Just thought this would be fun. I think it'd be fun to just include these with every journal. Just this extra little cute booklet. These are super easy to make. So now I'm gonna use those lines that I made and um, if I can find the the thing uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to score those you could fold it truly uh, it doesn't really matter but I'm gonna go ahead and try to use my this little well here from the if I can find it oh my goodness that's not working my brain is not uh, is not fully functioning here so I'm gonna go ahead and just try to fold that gotta go this way so I can see the line so I'm just folding on that first line making sure that my top is straight and this is heavy paper so this is uh, actually a scrapbook pad um, so it's pretty thick so that's our first crease and then let's do the same over here um, actually what Heather did is she um, what did she do I think I have that wrong yeah, something's up, maybe, because I should be able to just fold this and then when I fold this one, bring it down even with this edge of the other side, but it's not really, I don't think it's really working, but let's try it. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? Because I didn't cut off this edge. That's why. <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes, here, Renee. It's my pencil line, I see. There we go. That should fix it. Give my lame brain here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fold this. And I'm just, because we've got our first fold line, which is here. So I'm just going to open that like that. And I'm going to match this up with that edge. We're not creating much of a spine. In fact, um, for only two pieces of paper, I don't think you really need a spine to be honest, but I'm doing it just because, I mean, I barely got a, a spine here. Um, I don't know if you guys, I'll show that to you in a second. Um, <laughs> that's so tricky. So there's that one and then there's that one. So let me just ink those so we can see them a little bit better. That is the first one, and then this is the second one. So I got, it's a little bit smaller than I had measured, but I don't need much, I discovered um, in the other, in the prototype. So that is good. Let's go ahead and ink this. Oh, we wanted it to go the other way, didn't we? Did we? Did we? I think we wanted it to go this way. I want this to be the cover on the outside. So that's okay. We don't need that necessarily inked. I just wanted to show you what we've got going on here. Sorry, I'm off camera. Goodness gracious. <laughs> you think this was rocket science or something? And another one. There we go. There we go. 
go. Again, perfection is not at play. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink all around this inside and out. I re-inked my pad and I'm loving the dark again. You could obviously use anything you choose. If you were making a themed journal, you could use a piece from the kit to make that be nice and um, matchy-matchy, but I'm just wanting it to be in the blue tones for my sister. There we go. So we'll decorate this, the front of this in a moment. So I'm just thinking I want it to go that way because I love that cluster of paper there, of roses there, goodness gracious. So now what we're going to do is we're going to glue this into the cover. So let's go ahead and do the back first. So I'm just going to, I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac here just because I want to be able to have the ability to move this uh, plenty in case I don't get it straight. And I'm going to wipe that off. It's all gloppy. I need to get my other bottle out. This one's almost, it's getting low and it doesn't come out as easily. So there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn this just for my benefit here. And I'm just gonna kind of open that so that I can get this along that score line, that fold, and I'm just gonna press this down, making sure that it is nice and even as best I can. And give it a good press. Whoops, we moved. Okay, let's wipe that off or press that down. There we go. We're going to do the same with the, uh, the front here. Oh, that's not over enough. Goodness gracious, Kara Renee. Let me see if I can move that now. Should be able to. It's Fabri-Tac. We just we need it closer to the, the edge there. There we go. Hopefully that's better. And then this one, we're going to glue and try to pull it over. It's kind of, yeah, like so. <clears throat> I hope you guys will go check out Heather over at Ruby and Pearl. She's she is so fun to listen to. She's just very, uh, very calm and very peaceful creator and I love her voice and her speed so I'm just doing my best I think I didn't get that other side close enough to the spine but again it doesn't really matter in the end it's just fine so I'm going to try to go down if I can move that a little bit so there we go looks beautiful we've got some sticking out here why is that why is that? Hmm. Should we trim it up? Oh, got some glue seepage there. So let's see if we can. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Probably just didn't stick that in there far enough on that piece of the, that side of the spine. So um, that is okay. I'm just going to ink that again. I like that look. And so let's go ahead and decorate this one. So I pulled out, this is some um, uh, vellum, and I love using vellum. I like to tear it and use it in such a way. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this to cut it straight here and here. And then we're going to um, tear, rough tear the other edge that will go on the spine, or around the spine rather like so. I'm not going to get a super good cut. I didn't have a straight edge there. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. So there we go. So I think I want to go around this. Yeah, we're not straight here. Goodness gracious. I've got to straighten out this edge. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. Shall we do that? Is that going to work? My cutter is not working great. I'm so tired of these blades. I did order the precision the Fisker's Precision Cutter, so it should be arriving anytime. Love that. 
So we're still off over here. Let me just trim that up as well. That's risky, but that's okay. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and tear this edge. I'm not gonna do a ton of decorating. I might do some more when I go to actually use it or put it in my sister's journal. So I want, that's kind of what I'm looking for here is just that straight, that um, torn edge. So I think we'll just have this be big enough and we'll just um, make it even uh, on front and back. Hopefully that makes sense. And I love, the reason why I love to use vellum is I love how it inks up. So look at that, it's so yummy. So now we're going to try to get it kind of straight here as far as um, top to bottom. So I'm just folding on those uh, sort of straight edges, not really straight edges, but that's okay. It's not going to be noticeable. I am going to be using my white glue for that, for gluing this on. So I'm just going to wrap that around like that. Oh, we're definitely not. Oh goodness, we need to straighten that out. <clears throat> Let's just fix that right now. So you see, it doesn't really matter. It's all just fine. It all works out just fine. So there we go. Perfect, love it. Not too concerned about that spine. We're just gonna glue that so that it kind of wraps around. So let's go ahead and get some glue on here. And I am using the white glue because it works better on vellum. I find anyway. I do want this to be fairly secure because going on the top. Oh my goodness, care Renee. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. I think it was this way. Directionally, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to just hold this up so that I can control where I'm pressing and I can kind of form it to that spine piece. So I'm just going to set that down. I'm going to rub this out my paper towel and like so and look at that beauty so I love because we've got kind of a, the muted out part and then we've got the darker part so I think I want to put something else on here though so let me see if I can find something that speaks to me here we've got a little bit of lace this would be pretty just to go over that over that spine front to back yeah I like that so let's put that on you could obviously decorate as much or as little now it would obviously depend what your intention is to do with the journal with the book because if it's going to go in your purse then you wouldn't want to embellish it too much because it's just going to get roughed up right in your handbag or backpack or whatever so just keep that in mind when you're deciding how you want to embellish. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these edges off so that I can wrap that around. Like so. Oh boy, that was terrible. Try it from this angle. There we go. So let's go ahead and fold this over. Just using my Fabri-Tac again. Yeah, we're going to have to fold that over. Probably got an excessive amount of glue there. Happens. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Love it. Trouble with that angle. There we go. So, that is our booklet. So we are going to go on to the second one. I will speed that one up a little bit for you. Um, so if, you're, um, if you got a little off track because of my little boo-boo earlier, you can certainly uh, watch this one a little bit more uh, closely.
Okay, let's work on the cover on this one again. I'm going to go ahead and just talk while we do this. Looks like I did cut this one down. I didn't realize I had done that. So, this time we're going to we're going to keep this easy peasy, okay? Oh, it looks like I made the marks too. So, um <clears throat> I am going to make this easy though because you could do this just as easily by going like this putting this paper in here we've got a little bit too much on that edge but we can trim that off here in a second actually looks like I've got a lot on both sides let me trim that up a bit you guys it's gonna take about an eighth of an inch off it's a little bit wide maybe I didn't actually trim that up like I thought there we go. So basically what you can do rather than do the whole scoring debolical, which I hate, um, you can just kind of put it in place and then fold this over and create your create your crease. So let's take that out. Now we can go ahead and line this up to make sure that it's actually straight. So you don't have to score. I do not like scoring, um, which does get me into tr trouble from time to time but I don't like to do it. <laughs> so we're going to do the same with this side. I can get my bearing straight here. Put that in there again and we're going to... This one's a little bit harder because again we're working with thicker paper. I'm going to have to just fold that. Um, we're working with... Oh, we can line it up to this edge. Sorry guys. Forget that. Uh, this is actually a digital from My Porch Prints and it is printed on 65 pound paper. So it is fairly thick as well. Oh, well that was interesting. We didn't really get two score lines. What happened? Um, hmm. Strange. Strange. You know what? We're just going to go with it. Because if you notice on this one, there is not much of a spine. Like, it's so thin. So I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to go with it. And that looks to be good. Um, we're a little bit, um, we're a little bit crooked. <laughs> we are a little bit crooked, so let me straighten that out a little bit. My my cutting of the scrap might have not have been entirely straight either, but I'm not going to worry about it. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. Let me go ahead and ink this up first. So these would make a great scrap buster. Um, and you know, conversely so you guys, you wouldn't have to do that, that special fold with that paper. You could just stick some scrap papers in here. As you guys have seen a gazillion to YouTube videos on that, that's nothing new. So this time we're going to just snug that right up into that. We're not even going to worry about a score line and we're just going to tuck that in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put some... Um, I'm going to use this bigger bottle of glue because I don't want to go through my one I filled, painfully filled. I'm just going to go ahead and use the white glue this time. I'm just going to um, line it up top to bottom and then just bump it up to that edge and then just close it up. Give that a good press and turn it over. I'm going to press from this edge, get off any excess glue which I'm seeing. There was a lot of glue came out of that bottle. <clears throat> so there we go. And if we have to trim off this other edge because of not using that scoring point, it's going to be fine. So as you can see, we don't really need it. Um, we've got a little bit more on the edge here than the other, than the top edge, but again, I don't care and I'm looking forward to trying this with some scrappy bits because I'm really loving that that process of just being a little bit more relaxed about what I'm doing and just piecing some things together and not worrying about things being you know symmetrical and all that stuff there we go let's make sure that that is not oozing glue looks to be good. The, 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 this one is a little bit bigger around than the other one, but I'm not worried about it. I can always trim it off later. So let's go ahead and finish the cover. So I picked this paper, which 
I just did it because it's a scrap and so I'm just going to continue to go with it. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, use my distress tool here and just kind of rough that up, make it look really, really distressed. I think I'm going to put something underneath it though because this seems a little bit boring to me. Go ahead and ink that up really quick. Oh, I just love that look. <laughs> all the paper being all like chewed up. There we go. Oh, I love that. Look at that edge. It's so delicious. Okay, so let's find some lace to put underneath this if I can find some. I know I've got some bigger chunks in here because I was. I pulled some bigger pieces out for another project. Just a matter of finding them here. Oh, here's one. This would probably be really pretty. It's just the right size. So I thought we could go like that and just have that be um, going over like that. To kind of separate that, I like that. So let's, we're gonna use that edge as our straight edge here. And I'm just going to put the glue here, not all the way to the edge, and like so. And get our lace on, and again, I'm going to use the edge that's straight to line that up. There we go. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Trim that off. Having trouble with the trimming that direction for some reason. I'm not sure if that's just user error or got some paper there. It's all right. And that one is a little bit crooked too. Let's see if we can trim that edge up too. Perfect. So, and again, this is all scraps, you guys. This is nothing special. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in half so that we can wrap it around. And I am going to ink up this edge because I like that dark bit. And we're going to go ahead and put this on here, like so. Perfect fit. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue it on. I'm going to go ahead and use my Fabri-Tac. And we are just about done. I thank you guys for coming over and checking out the channel. If you're a new subscriber, I say welcome. I'm glad that you found your way over here. If you are not, thank you for coming back and supporting my work. Appreciate it very much. There we go. That turned out really, really pretty. So we've got this one that we did on camera and this one, and then this was my prototype. So thanks guys so much for coming by. Take care. Bye-bye.